Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, my name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial weekly. So today I'm bringing to you this gorgeous um, sling bag. It's really, really easy to crochet and it features this beautiful button right here. Everything, all the materials that I used will be linked in the down bar. I will be telling you also, but just so you know, the free pattern will be um, on my blog, selinaveronique.com. Again, um, I will be linking everything in the down bar. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So for this tutorial, I used um, this yarn, which is um, Caron Simply Soft, and I used shade Victorian Rose. So I also love the name of this yarn. Um, I only used half the skein. This is a medium four yarn. I also used a five millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. And you will also be needing um, a tapestry needle as well as some darning thread and a darning uh, needle just for the button part. So yeah, I will be linking everything in the down bar. I will also be linking just here and in the down bar my video on how to line a crochet bag, which is really good. I find it's really easy. My technique is hand or machine sewing. So if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe for a new crochet video weekly. I will be using US terms. So for this project, we are going to be making two um, panels like the this one. So this is my first panel and I am going to make the second one now with you. And it is a um, solid granny square. So to begin, we will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and create your slip knot, however you prefer. Take your five millimeter crochet hook and pop it in. Um, and there we go, we've tightened it. And now we are going to be chaining four. So one, two, three, and four. Four. Once we've chained four, we are going to be slip stitching in the first chain from the beginning. So just go ahead and slip stitch. So there we go. So once we've slip stitched, um, this forms a, a ring into which we are going to be um, working. So now chain three, one, two and three. And this counts as our first double crochet. So once you've um, chained three, which counts as your first double crochet, we are simply going to be placing two more double crochets in that ring. So just wrap your yarn around your hook, go directly at the center of your ring, pull up a loop. So I'm just going to work in my loose end as I go. So now we've got three loops on the hook. Take your yarn, pull through two loops and take your yarn and pull through two loops. And another double crochet exactly where we've done that one. So there you go, and there we go. So this um, this creates a first cluster of three double crochets. So now we are going to chain two, one and two, and we are going to be placing another three double crochets within that um, ring. So just go ahead and place another three double crochets within that ring and another there we go and this is our um, second cluster of three double crochets right here so what we will be doing now is chaining two one and two and we are going to, once again, be placing 
a cluster of three double crochets into this ring. So just go ahead. So the beginning of this solid granny square is very similar to the normal granny square. So now we are going to be chaining two, one and two. And once again, just go in with three double crochets into this ring. There we go. I'm just going to loosen some yarn from my go and a three and to finish off this round we are going to be chaining two so chain two one and two and simply sit, slip stitch to the third chain that we did at the beginning so just go ahead and slip stitch through that And this, um, this is our first um, round of um, this project. So what you can do is pull on this loose end and tighten. And what I will be doing later is um, sewing in this loose end quite well because we don't want our project to unravel. So you don't want your project to unravel. So I'll be sewing that in later. So now for round two, we are going to chain three. So for round two, we are going to chain three. One, two and three. And we will be turning our work and this um, chain three right here counts as our first double crochet and goes with this um, double crochet right here from the previous row. And what's happened, because we've turned, we've directly reached the first corner. So every time you reach a corner with a solid granny square, you will be repeating what I'm just going to show you now. So go inside that chain two space, which is the corner, place two double crochets, so one and two, chain two, one and two, and place another two double crochets into that space. So one, and two and now what we are going to be doing is going across this um so what we are going to be doing is going across this um this side and as you can see there are three double crochets from the previous row so you're just going to place a double crochet on top of each one of those three double crochets from the previous row so just go ahead and place the double crochet on top of each of those like this and this is what creates the solid part of this granny square now you have reached a corner again so as always for a corner you will be um, placing two double crochets into that space chain two and two double crochets so it's very simple and now we are going to be doing the exact same going across this side and placing a double crochet on top of each double crochet from the previous row so it's really simple so just go ahead and do that and now we've um, reached a corner again so again in the corner simply place two double crochets one and two chain two and place another two double crochets and just go ahead and carry on doing this for the rest of this round so you basically just have three double crochets left to go into here on this part 
Then another corner where you will be placing two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and then you will go across this edge and you've only got two double crochets left because this first one counted as our first double crochet and goes with this stitch here. So you just need to add a double crochet on top of each double, um, double crochet from the previous row that is left, if that makes sense. But I will meet you back again here at this part just to show you how to finish off this round. So there we go. So um, we will be, so I finished this round. Well, I've not exactly finished yet, but I've placed my last double crochet on top of that double crochet here and I'm just going to close off this round like so. So to do that you are simply going to be slip stitching into um, the chain three like we previously did for the other round. So just there we go. And now and now for row three, you are simply going to be repeating row two. So it's very simple, one, two and three. Turn your work and this, double, this chain three counts as a double crochet and goes on top of this double crochet from the previous row. So now you have one, two, three, four double crochets into which you need to place a double crochet on top before you reach a corner. So just go ahead and do that. And as you can see, this um, square is getting bigger, which is what we want. So just go ahead and pop your double crochets into that, those stitches. Now we have reached a corner. So double crochet twice, one, and two, chain two, one and two, and double crochet again. And I'm just going to let you carry on with this pattern. So here you will be placing a double crochet on top of all these stitches, and then obviously chain um, two double crochets, chain two double crochets, and just go into each of those until you reach um, the beginning that we started, and then I'll show you what to do. So once you reach um, this part where we started, you will have two double crochets left in this um, in this row, if that makes sense. So you will have two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the corner, and then you will have two double crochets into which you will be placing double crochets. And then we will be slip stitching. You will be slip stitching to um, the chain three from the previous row. So I'm just gonna let you carry this on. If you have any doubt about how many double crochets you need, just simply count um, the double crochets in the previous row and then make sure you have the exact same number of double crochets on top in the next round, plus two double crochets in the corners. So I'm just going to let you carry on with this. We will be needing six rounds in total. So just go ahead and make six rounds in total and then I'll show you how to, um, to do the rest of the bag. So once you've reached your six rounds, you will be fastening it off, um, stitching in that... Um, center like I told you and then I'll show you how to finish off this bag. Okay so I've um, done my two panels and I've set them aside and I just wanted to show you how to make the strap. So I've already chained so the chain is 160 chain um, long. For me I've uh, for me that's enough for my um, sling bag. So once you've chained 160 chains you are going to count one and two and go into the third chain from the hook. So just go into that third chain from the hook and place a half double crochet into that. So just go ahead and place a half double crochet into that. And the first chain two counts as our first half double crochet. We're gonna go into the next stitch 
and place a half double crochet into that and then into the next stitch and place a half double crochet into that and just go ahead and place a half double crochet into each and every um, chain until you reach um, the end of this chain and then I'll show you what to do next. So I just wanted to show you, so I finished my strap and so I'm going to pop that to the side and now I'm just going to make a um, a little I don't know what it's what it would be called but I, we are if I show you the project so it's not sewed yet but we will be adding a button here at the top and so we need a little I don't know what it's called so um, for this we are going to be chaining 22 so just go ahead one two three going to go into the second chain from the hook and slip stitch so just go ahead and slip stitch through every chain until you reach the end of the chain and yes so I'm just going to let you carry that on and once you reach the end of the chain just snip off your yarn and then I'll show you how to assemble your bag so now that we finished crocheting all our um, parts, so I've got two panels right here. So just lay one over the other. Just, and we've got our um, strap that we are going to be sewing to and this little um, strappy thing for the button. I've also got my button um, that I will be sewing on after we've um, sewed the parts together so now you are going to be taking your um your yarn and sewing both these panels together so we are going to start sewing here and then go down and go that way and then up and i will be using the mattress stitch so i've already popped my a loose end onto my um tapestry needle and I'm just going to start stitching, so just attach um, this, so just attach this piece of yarn to your project. And we are going to start sewing the sides two together. So now that I've attached um, my yarn, I'm just going to go in and out of the project sewing it in as best I can so just go ahead and do that and go down like I showed you and yeah so I'm just going to use a mattress stitch and once you've done that so make sure you um, sew it in quite well the reason why I'm saying this so make sure you put quite a few stitches is that it is a crocheted bag so you do want it to be secure if you are going to be using it so I hope this is making sense I will be lining my crochet bag so I have linked in the description box and I will be linking um, here the video I did about lining a crochet bag so I've just gone round um, this bag except for the opening at the top and we will be turning it inside out because it will this will it will look nicer this is um the stitching but for now we are going to be leaving this like that until we finish the stitching so yes so we are going to leave it inside out for now because we are going to be sewing the strap. So the strap I am going to sew in with um, the last bit of my loose end and I have chosen a side that I want um, to be facing out and one that I want to be facing in. So just choose which size you, side you prefer. And then I'm just gonna slip this through here. I am simply going to be um, stitching my strap in like so. As I said previously, I will be lining this bag. 
So all this won't be visible once I finished lining it. And to sew this in, I'm simply going to use this part and gently but surely stitch this part in. And just I'm just going to go and really secure it strongly if that makes any sense because as I said before we are going to be using this as a bag and you want it to be really strong and and then once you've finished stitching this side in you are going to be stitching the other side the exact same way so I've that's the side of my um, long tail and just make sure, um, so you're going to do the same thing on this side, just make sure that your strap isn't twisted. So there we go, I've finished popping um, my strap on and it was really easy. And now we are simply going to be sewing um, the button and we are going to be sewing this onto the project. So for now, I am going to be turning this inside out. Well, the right way round, really. I've not sewed in my loose ends yet because um, I am, like I said, going to line the bag. So this will just go, the loose ends will just be hidden by the lining. So I've chosen the place I'm going to place my button and it's here at the center and it's approximately on the second row of um, double crochets if that makes sense and I've just got my normal needle with um, some thread and I'm just going to sew the button on like this. So this is just a random button that I had in my stash. So I think I'd bought it at Hobbycraft in a pack like years ago. So there we go. I've sewed my button on and now I've just placed um, this strappy part and I am just going to sew it. So to sew this on, I am going to sew it onto the back panel. So this is the front panel. And I am going to sew it onto the back panel. And um, I'm going to sew it like this. So this is a bit like um, you have to kind of measure where you're going to do it. So I kind of measured probably about a centimeter and I am going, I hope this is making sense. So I'm gonna place this part like that and just stitch it onto this part. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this part. So I've stitched on that side and now I've just gone round with this and measured it up against my button. You don't want it to be too tight because obviously you want it to be easy to open and close, but you don't want it too loose either because it will stretch as time goes by. And so once you've measured this, you are going to be stitching it on the inside like so. Okay, so I finished this bag and I am so happy without it, with how it's um, come out. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to go on my blog, selinaveruni.com for all the pictures and more instructions. And don't forget to check out my video on how to line a bag. It's really easy. I do it by hand sewing. So yes. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.